Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in sunny Arizona and behind me I have a 2023 Toyota Sienna. I am so excited to bring you this tour today because I've actually been driving the Sienna for a week and I have quite a few thoughts to share. If this is your first time joining me, hi, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of three and I'm a certified child passenger safety tech. All right, let's get started. <laughs> The Toyota Sienna got redesigned in 2021 in a major way. Some of the biggest upgrades is now it's a hybrid standard, meaning you have an active hybrid underneath this hood that puts out about 35 miles per gallon combined, which for a three row vehicle is incredibly impressive. And I reset my MPGs when I got here and I have been getting just around 34 to 35 with a lot of combination driving. So I'm incredibly impressed with the Sienna's gas mileage. What also makes the Sienna very unique is it's the only minivan that you can get all-wheel drive and hybrid. Now, an all-wheel drive minivan is already rare enough. Only the Sienna and the Chrysler Pacifica even have it available. But if you opt to get the hybrid in the Pacifica, you don't get the all-wheel drive option. So with the Sienna, I get all-wheel drive, I get hybrid, I get three rows, which I've got three car seats in here, a stroller, and I am ready to show you how well this thing fits a family. This Toyota Sienna is the XLE Woodland Edition. It has an MSRP of $50,000. And believe it or not, that's not even the top trim. The Sienna is an expensive minivan. It has a higher starting price than the other minivans. So with that, I wanna know what I'm getting. I already told you I'm getting hybrid, I'm getting all wheel drive, but let's break down some of the features and technology found in the driver's seat. Now, like most minivans, I'm expecting a lot of storage and the Sienna is not disappointing. Check out these door cubbies. Three, okay, I'm gonna say two, cause that's kind of lame, but two nice size cup holders and a lot of great places to set your phone, a lip gloss, Kleenexes, whatever you might need. Let me get to the other side though. We'll break down this infotainment system and I'll show you some even more cubby spaces. Okay, the infotainment system, it's your standard Toyota infotainment system. I believe you received an upgrade for 20 two or tw probably 23 actually it's still very similar it's just a little bit more updated um easy to use it's a touch screen but we also have some quick buttons right here and then i loving the climate control uh everything's pulled out it's very easy to use and operate i love that i can quickly hit rear and then i can adjust my rear from here one thing that's very interesting is it has four zone climate control so we hear three zone climate control you know driver passenger back seat no, in this minivan, you have four zone climate control, so I can control it. This seat, this seat, this seat. It's kind of wild and very customizable. And if you have kids who are always fighting over the temperature, could be a game changer for you. We have heated seats on this trim level, no ventilated seats, which no heated steering wheel, which feels a little disappointing for the $50,000 price tag. Um, I'm also missing a rear view camera. It is available, I think, on the Platinum. I just feel as though, for the again, for the price, I would like to have that feature. Wireless charger. USB right there, two cup holders, two more cup holders, and then our center console with a USB and a USB-C. What's really great though, is we have another area of storage, which is right under here. This is like an underneath bridge area, but it is a big one. Like I could easily fit a diaper bag, a sh anything I wanted right there. This feels very nice and it kind of gives it that spaceship kind of look. I also like that I have two more USBs that I could have used from here as the driver as well. So overall, I think it has great storage. Uh, the drive is really fun, especially for bopping around town because you do have that hybrid engine. So you're getting a lot of power at a lower RPM. I would highly suggest if you are interested in the Sienna to make sure you test drive it on both city and highway because it does operate a little differently um, between the two roads. One thing I will say is there's a lot of wind noise in this car. Wind noise doesn't really bother me, helps the kids fall asleep. I turn up the music, I'm not that worried about it. But if wind noise bothers you, you will definitely hear it in this vehicle. Um, we have a sunroof, which is fabulous. And then of course, this is a minivan, so we have all the ways to control all the doors. I can open and close my side doors, my trunk. That's my sunroof button. And besides that, it's pretty darn standard. So let's move to the second row. We're gonna break down the car seat setup, the third row access, and then we'll take a look at the trunk. Okay, so I guess we're going to start with third row access because this is how I have the seat. Um, the third row access is great, but also clunky. You're not going to have a car seat tilt, but you kind of have the next best thing. So this is giving you max amount of third row access. I mean, I can easily fit my whole body back there. I can also come back here to help assisting buckling and unbuckling kids. What makes this car really unique is the seat belt is attached to these outboard seats. So 
What that means is you can actually move the entire seat and get third row access even if you had a car seat installed. This is where the car seat, this is where this is almost better than a car seat tilt because check this out. If I had a forward facing car seat installed right here, I could push this all the way forward and then my kids could enter the third row from the back. Now, they could of course also go around because it is a, this is captain's chairs with a nice wide aisle. And something that frustrates me about the Sienna is the bench seat is far and few between and only available on the lowest trim level. Which for a minivan, it's like, give me the bench seat. Like I'm buying it because I got a lot of kids. Okay, let me hop in and let's talk about some amenities. With this seat, am I all the way back? It's a little, it's just a little clunky. No, I'm not. Oh, wow. Oh, I can keep going. Well, that would be ridiculous. I'm pressed into that car seat. So let's say reasonably, I'd want to be about here. Really comfortable. Good headroom. I have built-in sunshades in the second row. Some trim levels also have them in the third row. I also have ceiling vents. Um, my own climate control right here. Again, four zone climate control. Pacific One had an upgraded rear entertainment package. And here's what I like about it. One, it's on the ceiling. I think that is so much better than on the back of the seats because one, it doesn't affect rear facing installation and two, then the third row passengers can see it as well. Everybody has a better view when it's right in front of me. To me, it's like, then you're not all watching the same thing. The third row can't see it. It's too close to their face. I like this. Now it does hinder your rear view visibility, which is why I'm disappointed that they don't make the rear view camera um, available on lower trim levels, even like this $50,000 one. But I think this is pretty cool. It's also incredibly simple. I mean, this could be from 2004 for all I know. It's no fire. It's not a fire TV. It's not a touch screen, which it kind of depends what your preferences are. But I feel like some of the car manufacturers are trying to do so much with it. This you do it with an HDMI. You play it, you got a remote, the kids can use headphones or they can just play it through the speakers. It's just like super simple. As far as my car seat setup is concerned with the captain's chairs, I have lower anchors and tether anchors in both the second row seats. And in the third row, I have lower anchors on the outboard seats and tether anchors across the back. Um, we already talked about third row access. The car seats fit good. These are two just Graco forward facing car seats that I got for George and Hattie. And then my youngest Fred is in this Graco extend if it rear facing. We'll give you a shot of that clearance in a second. But for the most part, it's comfortable. I had no problem getting back there and reaching them. I love that they have ceiling vents even in the third row. So the third row has great ventilation. Overall, pretty good. Okay, here's a shot of a rear facing seat with the seat in front of it set for myself. Now keep in mind, this is a Graco extended fit. This is one of the most compact car seats front to back. And obviously I have very good clearance. I could do a, you know, a more reclined seat as well. One thing that drives me just a little bit crazy about the Sienna, and I don't know if I'm just making this up in my mind, I think this door doesn't go up enough. Like for me to get my kid in here, I'm kind of having to like go like this. And I just wish this would go back a little bit. So I actually ended up kind of giving myself less room so I could just have easier access to them. But if you had a more reclined car seat or a taller passenger, that might be a little bit difficult. And it's especially difficult with a pumpkin seat. I'm not saying it's a deal breaker. I just like need this to go back like three more inches. Okay, let's take a look at the trunk because this is where the Sienna really freaking shines, you guys. It is a huge, huge, huge trunk. I have a Zoe twin stroller here and it is such a deep trunk, you guys. Such a deep trunk. I mean, look at this. It's, it's insane. These seats very easily could just fold right into it. I'm not going to do it because I have these car seats installed, but folds right into it very easily. And then you'd have even more great trunk space. But just the depth of this is like really the shining star. So that's going to wrap up this 2023 Toyota Sienna Tour. Overall, the Sienna is a really great minivan, especially for those of you looking for all wheel drive or a hybrid option. To be honest, it's kind of missing some of the party tricks that I really look for in a minivan, like a stow and go, a removable seat, the magic slide, the tailgate mode of the third row seats. But what you are getting is serious space, gas mileage, and reliability with the Toyota nameplate. If you're wondering more about like the different minivans and which, which one's right for you, I have an entire minivan showdown on my website when I went deep, and I mean deep, comparing the four types of minivans out on the market right now. We will leave a link to that in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below which other vehicle tours you wanna see.